Welcome back for some more free art lessons. Um, this time we are going to be cleaning our palette, but making some beautiful monoprints at the same time. Um, as you can see, well, I've actually been kind of um, neat today in working. Sometimes I'm a total slob on the palette, but I have made some marks right up here. And as opposed to losing that color or just wiping it off and throwing it in the trash, what I like to do is take just regular copy paper and just pull that image from the surface. Just lightly tap it like this with your fingers um, and then you can pull that up and you're not only cleaning your surface but you're saving that paint that again you can use in your collages for later on. Now you can take this and make it more um, strategic and all you want to do is remove some of your colors from the surface so that you have a surface to work on, but still have access to those colors. I'm just gonna sort of leave these guys here. And then all you wanna do is you can paint right onto your palette like this. This is where this color palette comes in handy because you can actually see these colors as you're laying them down. Whereas if you're working on a black Teflon pan, you can't necessarily see them. But I'm just sort of messing around, laying some color down here. You can also take pigment like I did earlier for this right here and put it straight up onto the um, palette. Okay, so here I have some um, straight up pigment that's not melted down. You can take this and put it right onto your surface. I can just kind of box this out if I wanted to and maybe make some squigglies going this way. You can sort of um, do whatever you want on here. Again, it's kind of like your little playground. You can do what you want. So here I have this image and I can again just take some of my plain paper Put it down here. You can also do this with rice paper or tissue paper or anything that'll um, hold up enough to get to get the paper down and then back up again. But I like to sort of clean my palette this way because then you get these interesting images that you can use in your collages later on. So this is mono printing. I also have a, a book here that um, I put some of those images in as I'm cleaning up. And so you get like cool designs just like this where I wouldn't really know how to paint that, but it came um, right up in my book. So here I just put the whole journal just right onto the palette, press it down, and you get some interesting looking paintings. And then you can go back into them and make them even more interesting by adding color here and there. Sort of take it to a new level. And once you add something to your journal, you want to uh, heat it up with a gun and just sort of seal it to that particular area. And there you go, another free art lesson on encaustic painting. Okay.